Hi and welcome, this is Jacob and I will have a free CAD overview for beginners and when you start free CAD you will have this free CAD start center uh, and you have uh, some different uh, icons and uh, and you have a Python console if you have uh, you can do everything in Python with FreeCAD and you have the work benches, different work benches. In this beginner I will use part design part and maybe someone else, but we will start with that. And you have a lot of different workbenches. Some are good and some are not is obsolete. You can find a lot of goodies with uh, FreeCAD. Uh, some people develop and new workbenches and do some great stuff. Uh, we will use 0 0.17 and I think that's a good stable version of FreeCAD and one thing you should do when you are new to FreeCAD you can go to edit preferences and uh, see so you have some kind of you can uh, have some different uh, options Yeah, let's start something. When you start FreeCAD, you start with a new document. But we can go to the part design workbenches. And we should have a discussion with... Uh, when you do use a software like FreeCAD, it's a CAD software. And when you do stuff and design in CAD, you use precise modeling and that's the whole point with uh, CAD software that you do something you want it exact and that's some kind of it's a, a bit tricky when you modeling something exactly in uh, CAD so we start with a new empty document and then when you have started a new document you have options to do you know you see if the icons is available to do to do something and we have the zoom tools we have the different views we have the measure here we change the different work benches with different icons and uh, options. But if you should do something simple and some basic in CAD, we start with a sketch. We do a two dimensional sketch and then we do use some extrude or revolve or sweep or loft to create a 3d dimensional solid and we can choose the xy plane and ok and here we have a grid and we have a different sketch tools and there is something new in uh, in uh, we can use B splines also this is new in uh, 0 0.17 
but we can use the rectangle and we hover over the dot and just click and when we have a rectangle here we have different constraints and we can uh, constrain it with dimension and you can use the button and click at the dot and you can drag it then you see here in the solver message that you it's under constraint with two degrees of freedom it's in the y direction and the x direction so if we see here we have a constraint we can delete all of them when we have no constraints it's just lines and dots points so how to constrain this to a rectangle again we mark the dots and that constraint no this constraint create a constraint constraint on the selected items now you can drag it in uh, some kind of degree with uh, angel and then we want it to be horizontal that one and now we can just drag it in the x direction and we take this line and we do the same consonants and we want it to be vertical and we want that to be horizontal we want that to be vertical and we use the consonants constraint and what you will see now that we have a rectangle again and we have all the constraints for our rectangle and we want it to be fully constrained so we can mark that one and uh, use a horizontal distance okay and we want a vertical distance and you see everything turns green then we have a full constraint and that's really important when you work in FreeCAD if you create solids from under constraint sketches it will work uh, at first but when you should do boolean operation between undefined sketches you can get in problems so when you do solid modeling in FreeCAD you should always use full constrained sketches and we close here and I scroll when I scroll with the mouse I zoom in and zoom out and when I use the shift key and the right button I uh, I um, what do I say I oh what uh, Swedish it is um, snura twist maybe twist roll 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 sorry roll and we take the pad extrude 10 millimeters is good and now we have a box a solid and we have some different command here we can revolve we can loft between sketches we can sweep along a path and we have different operation if you should create a hole and we have a mirror we have the basic basic future for 3d CAD then we go to the part work benches we have primitive shapes 
and we can uh, there there we have a uh, sphere and we can use some uh, boolean operations very common thing we can take difference and we take the sphere and the second shape the pad and apply then we do a cut the first shape is a sphere and when we cut it with a pad should we swap selections we will get the other thing around we will have a cut in the rectangle box with the sphere uh, and, and I think that is our overview we have some we have I can show you some more we have the FEM uh, workbench if you should do some strange of material and want to use the different solvers for film calculations I think FreeCAD has a really advanced future and they have added some more future for uh, flow dynamics and things like that but this beginner course will not include film but I, I want to show you that you can do film calculations in FreeCAD for mostly structural analysis of stresses and displacement you have uh, you have uh, oh it's robot you have a robot simulation uh, workbenches and I think you have a draft if you want, want to draw some uh, buildings and stuff like, stuff like that you have a really great workbench but then you should go to the arch workbenches and you can build uh, a house and that's really cool with these beam functions but I will do solid modeling in part design workbenches and part workbenches and we will also maybe do some drawings and we have this new workbench in tech draw for technical drawings so we have a lot of cool stuff in FreeCAD and I think FreeCAD is the number one uh, CAD software for education and the support for Python if you want to include coding i think that's really powerful so see you next in this uh, free cad beginner course and that was just an overview of different different stuff you can do in free cad it was a, just a teaser so see you soon and i hope you have a good uh, day thanks bye bye